My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop. Um, today, um, I did a video a probably a month ago now, and in this video I wanted to see people's, sorry there's just a graph, I wanted to see what people thought, it was a question, and the question was, why, uh, someone said Matt, you know, why are cars uh about 10 to 1 ish for compression where you know these bikes nowadays are like 13 to 1 something like that and the question was you know why what's the difference why is this this so i thought i was just about to jump in and do the video then i thought to myself you know this is one of these things where i bet a lot of people don't actually uh, oh, I want to know what people's thoughts are, why they think it is. So, um, then I was going to do this video and uh, literally just go through it. But I thought we'll have just a tiny bit more fun. Just a tiny bit more fun. Um, because reading the comments um, of what people thought it was, or whatever, you know, some people have the guesses, some people are like, oh, it's this, and went into some big explanation. Um, so just to um, mix the pot up a bit, I want to add this in. So this is related, and it's probably something that no one um, ever thought was a thing. <laughs> so at the bottom, we have RPM. And at the side, we have the compression ratio. You know, so down here, you are, it goes from bloody 8 to, you know, 14 or whatever like that. Then across the bottom, we're going from 0 to about 16 grand. Yeah. And what I've done is... You will see that. Well, I'll just show you the things and I'll quickly draw them on here. But basically, this is a group of bikes. So, this is the list of bikes. I've just picked uh, the top end and then some bikes in the middle, you know, and there's a 125 chucked in there just for the sake of it. There's also the MT01, which is this big truck of a bike. Um, so, we're looking at all of those, you know, you can see all of those. And this is basically pre-2010, so it's the closest model I could get all of them, pre-2010. Then around 2015, that's this one, and then this is 2020, so this is the latest numbers for compression ratios. Now, the RPM thing, what I did was, is I looked at the horsepower, what peak horsepower was at what RPM, right? So it'll say... 168 horsepower at 13,500 RPM. You know what I mean? So these are from the manufacturers at the crank, because that's what we're bothered about. We're not bothered about the bike, we're bothered about the engine. Um, and you can see, you can see that these points have got a lovely trend line. like this and as you can see there's a trend line that can run across straight like that and this goes for every single year the rpm at uh, the compression ratios are going up but so is the max rpm is going up so just to chuck that into the fire why what the hell as compression ratio got to do with RPM? That is the question. So I just thought I'd mix this up a bit and chuck that in there. So I'll leave that to you. Have a good think about it. This really is a brain cruncher is this one. Have a real good think about it and so on and so forth. And I will see you in a bit.